Okay, active range of motion for the neck. I'm going to go through all of the movements of the neck individually and then we're going to show you a couple combinations. Active range of motion is just to improve the movement of the neck. We're going to start first with cervical extension or neck extension. We want to start by sitting in a chair or sitting on a table or something. What we're going to do is slowly tilt the head back as far as it can go without leaning backwards and then slowly bring the neck to the starting position. There's two ways of doing this. One with your mouth closed. One with the mouth allowing it to open. You'll be able to go further with the mouth open but by keeping the mouth closed, you're actually going to be stretching a little bit while you're doing that activity. All of these movements, I would suggest doing 10 times each. And then when you get to the end, hold it for a second and make sure the movements are slow. So now we're going to go into cervical flexion or neck flexion. We're going to bend the chin to the chest. Slowly let the head come back up. Again, I'm going to take the chin to chest. Slowly let the head come back up. <clears throat> Again, you notice I'm trying not to move my shoulders or my body. The third one is lateral flexion or side bending. So side bending, what I'm going to do is try to bring my right ear to my right shoulder without allowing my left shoulder to come up. I'll show you the opposite direction. And back up. Now notice, while I'm side bending, my nose stays facing forward. It's not turning, that's rotation. So as you bring that ear to the shoulder, keep your face facing forward. It would be good to do this in front of a mirror. So that's side bending. Now we have the rotation. Rotation, again, sitting up straight, I'm going to turn my head to the right as far as I can, trying not to allow my shoulders to come with me. We'll come back to that. So we're going to turn the head to the right as far as it'll go, trying to look over my right shoulder, and then slowly back to the front. I'll show you the left as well. Slowly turning that head, keeping the shoulder where it is, and back to the front. Now you can include the spine into it, but realize that's not just the neck. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my head as far as I can. Now I can go ahead and turn my spine with it, and that's okay to do. Just make sure you take the neck as far as it'll go first. And then the final one, we'll do a diagonal. So diagonal means <clears throat> we're going to look down and rotate, or we're going to look up and rotate. So I'll show you a diagonal to the right. I'm going to look down, so I'm flexing my neck, and I'm rotating it to the right. And I'll bring it back up. If I wanted to do another diagonal, I could look to the right, but look up over my neck. And then back to the front. Again, all of these 10 repetitions, nice and slow and seated. And that's active range of motion of the neck.